Hey, River Church, how are you guys doing today? Uh, my name is Billy, and I'll be leading you guys through today's devotional. Um, today we're going to be in Matthew chapter 28. Uh, now, today is a really special day for me. Uh, not a special day. There's nothing significant. It's not a birthday or anything. Um, but <clears throat> today uh, was my last day for reading the, the book of Matthew. I've been reading Matthew, and today on my uh, devotional plan uh, today was the last day, so completed that uh, that devotional, and now I'm excited about that. Um, and so, anyway, today I was reading Matthew chapter 28, and uh, I just want to share something that uh, was super encouraging for me, and I hope it is equally uh, as encouraging for you guys. And so, um, it's Matthew chapter 28, and it is the last section. Uh, in the chapter, uh, and it's 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 formal, well, not formally, but it's also known as the Great Commission. It says, uh, "Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore." And make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Um, man, so this is, this is something that it was a nice ending to a, a wonderful book. Um, I, as I was reading this, uh, this this passage it's 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 most commonly referred to as uh, uh, you'll see this a lot with missionaries uh, mission agencies um, go make disciples of all nations and and I love that I could talk about that uh, all day but but the the verse that really popped out at me or jumped out at me today was the very last verse and uh, well, actually the very last sentence and says and behold I am with you always to the end of the age. So what's happening here? Jesus has been with his disciples for three years. He has uh, performed countless miracles with them. He's fed thousands of people. He's healed, uh, um, he's healed disease or, or, or um, just different conditions. He's healed them, right? He's walked on water. Um, he's done so many different things. Uh, he, he, and, and, and at the end of this, right, he has died, he is resurrected. And at the end of this, he is now telling his disciples who have been with him for uh, three years. He's telling them, you know what, guys, I'm leaving now. Um, but this is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go, right? Go. Uh, and, and if, if, if he's telling me that if I'm, if I'm sitting there and he's telling me that I'm, I'm nervous, right? I'm like, oh man, like Jesus telling me to go like he's not going to be here anymore i'm kind of tripping out um but at the end at the end of it he says and behold i am with you always to the end of the age so that's encouraging for me um sometimes i don't feel like the lord is with me and i would imagine many people listening uh would feel the same way would say the same thing and I just want to encourage you, Christian, that he is with you always, and he will be with you always. Um, whether you are going into the mission field or not, he is with you. You know, in our, in our country today, in our culture, we're going through uh, COVID-19. It's the coronavirus, and there's a lot of uncertainty there. But Christian, Jesus is with us always, right? Uh, it may not be it may not be the coronavirus that that is really pressing you, really making you feel like you're alone, that you're isolated, that you're separated from God. It may not be that. You may be asking, you know, Lord, uh, my business is failing. Why is how, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to go and do all that you have taught me in the book of Matthew or in the whole scriptures? How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do these things? How am I supposed to be a Christian? How am I supposed to have faith in you during this moment? You are, I don't feel like you are with me. 
or 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 maybe maybe you just think like okay like we 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 may tend to com, uh, compartmentalize Jesus where we we limit him to specific things but he is not sovereign over all things um, in Matthew chapter fourteen we see Jesus walking on water and he's demonstrating like I'm Lord over all creation I'm Lord over all things and I you know, and, and so, so he's walking on water and he calls Peter to walk with him. And he says, I am Lord of all things. Come and walk with me. And, uh, you know, Peter, Peter does for like a second. And then he, he falls into the water and Jesus says, you know, why did you doubt? Why did you doubt? Um, I, and, and, and going back to this passage, Jesus is saying, I am with you. So whatever you're going through today, whether uh, it's good or bad, uh, you feel like the Lord is closer, especially if you feel like he's far away from you. If you don't know how you're going to make it, how you're going to uh, be able to rely on Jesus during this time, just know that he says, I am with you always to the end of the age. I love you, River Church, and I'm excited to see you guys again. I can't wait, uh, and I hope, hope this was encouraging for you guys. We'll see you.